So in this video we're going to be finding midpoints between two points on a Cartesian plane. Now to do that we're going to need a Cartesian plane and we're going to need two points on the Cartesian plane. And now we need to think about the midpoint. Now midpoint is exactly what it sounds like. It's the point halfway between this point and this point. So it must be like kind of around here-ish. But we don't want to work in a round, we want to know exactly how far it is um, or where that is. Now, uh, let's think about how we can kind of attack this question. Um, negative 4, so it's negative 4 across from there to there, and x is 7, and it's 7 across from there to there. So the distance from there to there is 11. Uh, now, we want to go halfway across. Now, let's... I'm not going to do the maths yet, think about it. Now, it's 2 from there to there, and it's 6 from there to there. That's 8 up. So halfway between 8 up would only be 4 up. Okay, so that's sort of roughly what we're doing. We're going to work out how far across we should it is between those two points and halve it. We're going to work out how far up it is from there, and we're going to halve it. And we're actually going to use an average or a mean to do that. So here's my rough idea of a formula. That's not a great formula, but it'll do for now. The midpoint is equal to the average x value, comma, the average y value. Now, how are we going to find an average? Well, you should know how to find an average. If we want to find an average of two things, we add the two things, and then we divide by the number of things, two. Okay, now let's name these points before we get too excited. I'm going to call this point one, and I'm going to call this point two. Now, if this is point one, and this is point 2, I can call this value x1, and I can call this value y2. That's a little subscript there. And I can call this value um, x2, and I can call this value y2. Okay, now we're going to find the average x values by adding those two together, x2 plus x1, and then dividing it by the number of numbers, 2. And we're going to find the average y value by adding those together, y2 plus y1, and then dividing by 2. All right, now that is a really good formula. And that is going to be our midpoint formula, the one really important thing that you've got to take away from this. Now really all that's left to do is to sub in some numbers. x2 is 7. Add x1 is negative 4, so 7 plus negative 4, all over 2. And y2 is 6, y1 is negative 2, so 6 plus negative 2, all over 2. Okay, so 7 plus negative 4, that's the same as 7 minus 4, which is a 3 over 2. And 6 minus 2, or 6 plus minus 2 is the same as 6 minus 2, which is 4. Okay, um, now 3 over 2, we can write it as 3 over 2, or we can write it as 1.5, which I think I will for this video. And 4 over 2, that simplifies to be 2. What does this mean? This is the midpoint. So, the midpoint is at 1.5, there's 1, there's 1 1.5 right there. 2, 1, 2. And there is our midpoint. Now, does that look about right? Let's see, get my ruler out. Gee, it's pretty close. You can see it's a little bit off. Um, the reason it's off is because I drew this Cartesian plane uh, without a ruler. I just kind of marked it up myself, but I think that that's about right. Now, importantly, I just really want you to understand that what we're finding is halfway along this line and halfway along that line. Okay, and that's really what's happening in a question like this. We're finding halfway across, we're finding the average between these num this number and this number, we're finding the average between that number and that number. This is a very handy formula to have if you're going to find a midpoint. 